Hi, I'm Tavleen from buildwoofiles.com and in this short video, we're talking about how to upsell variable products using upstroke one-click upsells. So there are two things here. One is that you can upsell variable products so the users can select the specific variant that they want from the upsell page. They will be able to see a dropdown on which they can select the variant they want. The second thing is you can upsell specific variant of a product. So let's say just the blue t-shirt or just the 500 gram pack of a cream, right? Now you would want to, to actually upsell specific variants in cases where let's say the other variants are low on stock or maybe the variant that you want to sell is actually highly profitable and you want them to buy the higher volume pack, uh, you know, the 500 gram pack just because you're offering a lucrative discount on this and it also makes you more profits so well that is what you can do with the variable products let's now get started all right so as you can notice we've got a typical variable product here so there are three variants of this product it's the 100 gram 250 and the 500 gram pack right so this is variance by weight of the product so it's basically a cream a clinic cream with three variants now, when you go into upstroke one click upsells, you can add a new offer, right? And in that offer, so I've called upsell clinic cream. So we're basically trying to upsell a variable product here. And then you sort of add a new product. Now, as you'll notice, you've got search variation checkbox here. On default, this is not checked. And the reason is that we do not want the search query to populate more results than you need. So when you check this, you will be able to select specific variants of the product, right? Now here, let me just uh, select the clinic cream. Here you go. So when you add this product, you'll notice all its variants will also get added. So we've got the three variants of this product and this is the default variant. So you can change the default variant to let's say the 500 gram pack, right? Now what makes this interesting is the fact that you can actually set discount at variant level. Now this will make more sense if the prices of these three products are different. So let's say the 100 gram pack is at $35 whereas the 500 gram pack is at $60. You can offer diff different discounts on different variants. So if you want to encourage them to buy the higher weight variant Variant, the 500 gram variant you can set up a higher discount here so basically upstroke gives you the capability to set discounts at the variant level so once you've done this just save offer and then you can head out to the design section now in the design section hit customize and the inbuilt customizer will load here with the upsell page with the variant so as you can notice, this is the variable product and here are the three variations. A person can select the right variant for themselves and just buy that with a single click here. In addition to that, if you're using uh, your uh, one of your favorite page builders to create a product and you do not want to use the inbuilt customizer, then once you hit activate on this one, you will be able to see the short code for variation selector. So just like the one that you drop the drop down that you just saw, once you copy and paste this short code in your favorite page builder the same drop down will appear there as well well now let's move further to our uh, second use case which is the use case of selling a specific variation of a product so let's just remove it now you're going to add new product and you are going to search variations so when you do this you will be able to see that these variants get loaded. So you can select the variant that you now want to upsell. So let's say you only want to create an offer against uh, the 100 gram pack, or it may, it'll make more sense if you want to create it around the 500 gram pack, right? So the idea here is that if someone is checking out with the 100 gram pack, you can offer them to upgrade their order to the 500 gram pack and maybe even offer a lucrative discount. So once you've done this, you're going to save offer. Now let me head back to the rules section. Now in the rules section here, you can say when the product contains exactly 
100 gram cream. So when they are checking out with just one bag of 100 gram cream, you want to stop them and increase their order value. So you want to upsell them the 500 gram pack. Alternatively, you can also say contains at least one. So they may have other products as well and they may have two of these creams, but if just one of their entire order consists of the 100 gram clinic, clinic cream pack, then uh, the upsell offer that they will see is the 500 gram clinic cream pack. Now, if you want, you can also choose to, um, you know, you can choose to cancel the primary order and upgrade it with this uh, 500 gram pack. So if you want to do that, you simply need to, to go into the settings section. In the settings section, you can say create a new order, do cancel primary order. So it asks you if you want to cancel that primary order. When you tick yes, uh, the primary order will get cancelled and they, they will be offered an upgrade to the 500 gram pack of cream. So in this case, you must remember that the entire order will get replaced. So you want to make sure that when you're doing this, uh, then the only thing that they're ordering here is the 100 gram pack of cream, right? So you must say here that contains exactly one, uh, the, the specific variant. So this way you can sell uh, variable products. You can also sell specific variants of a product. Another thing that I must show you here is in the offer section. So in the offer section, once, uh, let's say, let's just delete this at the moment. All right, let's just add uh, the same product. So we're going to add the Clinic Cream here and the variable product with all three variants. Here you go. So if you want, uh, you know, if you do not want, let's say here are, there are three variants of this product, but let's say the 250 gram variant, maybe that's out of stock or if you have a low quantity on that or maybe it's not that profitable, you don't want to sell it. So then you can simply uncheck it and only then these two variants will be visible for purchase. They only will be available for purchase from the one click upsell offer page. And again, as I explained, always the discounting at variant level is extremely useful. So that was it. That was about variable products. Upstroke offers full compatibility with variable products. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, do pop them in the comment box below.